Hey, hey, everyone. Tim Allen. Mom Asylum. Alcohol. So, I have something today. And this will be my first ever brandy ever do whiskey some vodka uh ciders beers anyway this will be my first ever Brandy, okay? First ever. Hold on, beer. Oh, I forgot you were there. Just fucking with you. Anyway, I just wanted to get a glass to enjoy having my first ever, ever, ever brandy. So, she sounds fun. If anyone knows where that movie's from, let me know. And a perforated edge. Right where it breaks, so I should be able to. Nope, too strong. So First ever brandy that I'm going to, first of all, taste. Because I never dated a girl named Brandy. So this is my first brandy. It's kind of like a smoked wood smell to it. Yeah, it's like the smoked wood smell. But this, my friends, is if there's no signature, it's not genuine. Layard's Applejack, a smooth blend. Laird and Company. Laird's Applejack was first made by William Laird in Monmouth, New Jersey in 1698. Around 1760, George Washington discovered this unique beverage. He discovered it. Like, discovered it. Asked for and received the Laird family recipe and soon introduced Applejack to the Virginia colony. So, William Layard made this in 98. Seventy years later, 1698 to 1970, so seven, six. So 70 years later, take 
uh, George Washington stumbled upon the flavor and acquired the recipe and then distributed it to the Virginia colony. There's some history. 40% alcohol per volume, 80 proof. Uh, there's this little weird red symbol here. It says, uh, it's so microscopic. Does this work as a mic micro? Says six pounds of apple in every bottle. So there is six pounds of apple in this two pound bottle. That's amazing, guys. They were able to take six pounds and turn it into two. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, nine generation experience. Sixteen ninety eight, nine generations. Confused. This is America's oldest family run distillers, the oldest. Okay. What's fucking cool is you can see the badass. Hawk in the back. It's not an eagle. It's a hawk. Definitely a hawk. Yeah, in the. Between it, here's what it looks like on the back. Definitely a hawk. It's not a fucking eagle. Um, 35% finest apple brandy distilled by Layard and Company. North Garden, Virginia, 65% grain neutral spirits. All right, you can send for a recipe book, guys, at Layard and Company. So do that, do it, do it, do it like right now, do it. Okay, at www.layardandcompany.com. So I wanted to do this correct. They got me a nice glass here. It smells, it smells. Did we, did we just take like a little bit? I don't know, I've never had brandy. Is that too much? Oh my god. Did I, do, did I do too much? Fuck. What do I do? I'm lost. All right. Calm down. I think we're okay. All right. Yeah, it's a Jack Daniel glass. Drop your tailgate, raise your glass. Jack Daniel showed up. He wasn't even invited to this party. Evan Williams is, though. Come on, Evan. All right. Here we go. Strong. All right. So, 19... 17... 1760... Must be George Washington's fake teeth. But he had a very different taste. Because, no. So, right now I'm doing this dry. I'm going to add rocks to it. I don't know if that's something people do. But I'm going to do it. See if we can't change. See if we can't make the flavor a little better. As of right now, for an apple flavor... I would only give it uh, a 5.4. It's not good. It isn't great for being America's oldest distillers. Just because you're old don't mean you're fucking sell good quality. Good quality, people. It's about the quality. It's not about this. It's about quality. Why do you think you guys do not sell your product? 
if you cannot deliver an actually good fucking product, nobody's gonna fucking drink it. Those are just facts. Like, I won't ever buy this again. And whoever's following me or watching this page will never buy this. So you guys will lose money because you don't know what good flavor is. Now I can appreciate a standard original flavor, but if you're gonna create something that I literally can't drink because it just doesn't taste good, what is everybody else supposed to drink? You're like, oh, fuck it, it's alcohol. Mm. Well, okay, fuck it, it's alcohol. Go drink some fucking Coors where the mountains are blue or Keystone fucking light. Blindfold yourself, see if you can taste the difference because you can't. So now we got it on the rocks. So let's see if this changes up the flavor a little. We might chill this bitch or I might just start drinking shit on the rocks. Okay, so there are six pounds of apples had no flavor in said apples. Uh, however, there um, their brandy has a lot of flavor. Now, I got hair on my chest. And my arms, my legs, my balls, and my asshole. I don't shave those. Um, and if you have to be a man to drink such um, um, things such like this, uh, I guess I'm not a man, but man, I'm, I'm a fucking man. Just let you know. I'm pretty hardcore. But don't recommend buying. It's not good. It's not great. It's my first brandy. So I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna be fair, okay? I'm gonna be fair. And no, it's not because it's 80 proof. Because there's a lot of 80 proof shit out there that tastes. And it's only 3% or 5% 5 lower than 70, than 35 proof or 35%. So it's not much stronger. Anyways, so this is getting a solid six from me as far as brandy goes. I will try to bring you more brandy flavors, but as far as brandy goes, I won't buy it again. But if I see something interesting and I want to share it with you guys, I will spend my cock sucking money on it for you. Thanks for tuning in. Now fuck off.